five types of verb-verb combinations in English from EspressoEnglish.net. Many students get confused when there are two consecutive verbs in a sentence. What form does the second verb take? This lesson will show you five types of verb-verb combinations with example sentences. The first structure is verbs plus the ing form. For example, I avoid eating after 10 p.m. She considered studying Spanish but chose to study French instead. I don't mind giving you a ride to the airport. You can see in all of these cases that the second verb takes the ing form. It doesn't matter what form the first verb is in. The second verb always has ing. Here are some more examples. We look forward to hearing from you. After look forward to, we always use the ing form. He regrets losing his temper at the meeting. I recommend visiting Central Park. Verbs that are followed by the ing form include avoid, deny, finish, regret, be used to, or get used to, dislike, imagine, risk, can't help, don't mind, look forward to, spend time, can't stand, enjoy, practice, stop, consider, feel like, recommend, and suggest. Now let's look at verbs that are followed by the infinitive, by to plus the verb. For example, he agreed to help me with my homework. The first verb is agreed, and the second verb has to, agreed to help me. We decided to buy a new car. Don't say, we decided buy a new car. You need to have to. We decided to buy a new car. I hope to speak English fluently someday. After hope, use to. I hope to speak. You need to do more exercise. They promised to call me back. Bob refused to cooperate with the police. All of these verbs are followed by to when we have another verb after it. Other verbs that take this structure include agree, attempt, claim, decide, deserve, expect, fail, hesitate, hope, learn, manage, need, offer, plan, prepare, pretend, promise, refuse, seem, tend, threaten, try, want, and would like. Some people ask me how you know whether a verb is followed by the ing form or the infinitive, the to form. The answer is that there's really no way to know just by looking at the verb. Unfortunately, you just need to remember each one on an individual basis. The next structure is verbs that are followed by an object and then the to form. For example, I don't allow my kids to watch violent movies. We have the verb allow and then we have the direct object my kids, and then we have the to form of the next verb. I don't allow my kids to watch violent movies. Here's another one. The defect caused the machinery to malfunction. The verb is caused, the object is the machinery, and then the next verb takes the to form, to malfunction. This is also the case with the verb convince. My friend convinced me to get a tattoo. He reminded her to take out the trash in the morning. The boss requires all employees to arrive on time. Jennifer told us to bring a jacket. All of these are examples of verbs that are followed by an object and then the next verb has to. 
Verbs like this include advise, allow, authorize, cause, challenge, convince, encourage, force, get, hire, inform, instruct, permit, persuade, remind, require, teach, tell, urge, and warn. There are a few verbs in English that can be followed by either the to form or the ing form. For example, start. You can say, the little girl started crying, or the little girl started to cry. These are the same. There's no difference in meaning, and both are correct. Another example is like. For example, you can say, I like reading, or I like to read. They are the same, and both are correct. Remember that like can be followed by either reading or to read, but would like can only be followed by to read. So, I like reading, but I would like to read. Verbs that can be followed by both forms include begin, continue, hate, like, love, prefer, remember, start, and try. With hate and remember, there are some slight differences. Use remember plus the to form to remind someone to do something, and use remember plus ing to describe a memory. For example, remember to go to the bank after work. That's a reminder. I'm reminding you or telling you to do that. I remember going to the beach every summer as a child. When I say remember going, I'm describing a memory. With the verb hate, there is also a slight difference. Use hate plus the ing form to describe things you hate in general. And use hate plus the to form to express regret for something you are going to do. Here are some examples. I hate waiting in line. That's something you dislike in general. I hate waiting in line. We use the ing form for things we hate in general. I hate to ask you for money yet again, but could you lend me ten dollars? We say I hate to ask to express regret for something we are going to do. The final structure is verbs plus an object plus the base form of the next verb. For example, the teacher doesn't let us use cell phones during class. We have the verb let, the object us, and then the base form use, let us use cell phones. Don't say let us to use. It's not, it's not correct to use to in this case. Another example is make someone do something. For example, I made my son clean his room. Don't say made my son to clean. That's not correct. I made my son clean his room. Could you help me carry these boxes? Help me carry. It's possible to say help me to carry, but it's more common to say help me carry. The teacher had each student give a presentation. Don't say had each student to give. That's not correct. The teacher had each student give a presentation. So these four verbs are let, make, help, and have, where they can have the verb plus the object plus the base form of the next verb. If you want to get great grammar, check out my Advanced English Grammar course. It has 45 lessons that will teach you all the details of English grammar with lots of practice exercises. Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on Courses, and look for Advanced English Grammar.